The new administration under President Jacob Zuma has placed the country's 787 billion infrastructure push at the heart of its stimulus response to the economic crisis. But it also wants state enterprises to do more to support the creation of industrial activity and jobs around these programs. Acting CEO Chris Wells explains how Transnet is responding. And basically what we've done is we've said for large equipment that we um, are ordering, like cranes and locomotives, where it is appropriate and, and cost effective, we'd like to build a skills base here. And locomotives, we want to do a lot of the engineering and assembly for cranes, the assembly um, and certain engineering, although the majority of parts will be manufactured overseas. And that's already uh, starting. We've got a um, hundred loco uh, tender um, out at the moment, and a requirement again will be uh, local engineering and assembly. Um, and eventually increasing the um, total amount done in South Africa as a proportion of the total order cost um, higher and higher as we can. There is also growing pressure to show that the so-called Competitive Supply Development Programme, or CSDP, is an effective localization platform. Some believe it would be more appropriate to set hard offset targets, but for repeat locomotive, crane and spares orders, Transnet believes the CSDP to be appropriate. The CSDP is the most practical and uh, we think value-adding way of, uh, uh, of localising uh, a large part of content and, and um, creating employment. Of the 80 billion, we estimate about 35% will be imported components. The rest will be um, sourced locally. The, the local supplier might be importing uh, part of what they resource locally. But so the vast majority is uh, local engineering expertise, construction, project management, um, and also uh, local supplied uh, goods. For example, in our, in our new refined products pipeline, um, the steel for the pipeline, um, we could only uh, procure the 16-inch uh, locally. The 24-inch we needed to import because uh, the local supplier couldn't uh, produce steel of that dimension.